So I had two basic ideas. One, the, the title of the workshop that, that, that I inherited from Gloria is the, how to dance from within, so the inside of the body. And the other idea is how this could be an example for the students, the participants, that they could take home and keep working with. So again, on one hand, there was the idea of letting what we have inside, what we have within, our anatomy, our physiology, our body plan that has been developed through billions of years of evolution, how all that is alive and moving inside, and how that tiny movement can inform the bigger movements in space and feed and nourish and make easy the movement in space. common denominator between BMC and making the body systems and evolution come to life and choreography is the idea of an organizing principle. The whole story of evolution is about organisms and different forms of organization, different principles of organization, which is exactly what a choreographer does in applying some principles, some ideas of organization in space, of bodies in space and time. That's why there's a, a permeability between these fields. And it's not like a, a narrow-minded one-to-one -one correspondence, but it's more like the, the mutual inspiration of these two fields, of these two realms. strikes me every time is how obstacles become stimuli for creativity. I have been personally really touched and moved sometimes seeing unexpected happenings in the dance, especially between so-called disabled people and so-called able people. We have to say that the people with disability that have come here already have a history of becoming creative with their bodies. But also the people who are here to dance with people with disability have a history of wanting to be creative beyond the constraints of what's formal dance. 